After missing the NCAA tournament a year ago, LSU returned to the big dance on Sunday night. But for a while, it seemed they might be one and done. But using a 16-2 second half run, the Lady Tigers erased a seven point deficit and now move on to Tuesday night's round of 32 game against Penn State. They're a good team. They have you know pretty good players and they made some big shots. But um, I think what made the difference is just we didn't give up. Um, our fans was a big part. The crowd just being into the game, having them on our back and um, having um, big plays coming off the bench from certain people. And I think we just uh, stuck, stick, stuck at it. I mean, we have ugly wins throughout this whole season. So um, tonight, we just knew if we kept fighting, kept um, playing, it would be a dog fight. And if we kept the game in the low scoring um, numbers, we would, we would get the advantage. I think everybody um, gave what they had tonight, um, especially our bench. And, you know, when they made their run, we made sure that we didn't give up and we, you know, refocused and we listened to our coaches about how. Um, relying on our defense and you know just getting the ball in the paint and making um, layups because that the first half we really weren't making any so you know we just had to calm down and you know relax and you know just go to stretch. Our bench was was also a six man on the court. I mean they helped us. They pumped us up and you know collectively we just said when we were down at one point we just said we're going to stay together and that's what we we ultimately did. If the Lady Tigers are going to make a deep tournament run, they will have to avoid costly turnovers and improve upon a field goal percentage of just 38% in their opening round game. This was one of our better games as far as turnovers are, turnovers are concerned. Uh, we just didn't make a lot of easy shots. I thought that for the most part, some of the turnovers did cost us um, in the backcourt, us getting our pockets picked. Um, but most importantly, this group has got to score the basketball and give them give themselves opportunities every time. Um, but it is, it's, it's very important for us to get and maximize um, every possession. And when we're able to do that, I feel like we get great looks. So now the Lady Tigers will square off against Penn State Tuesday night in a game Nikki Caldwell says will be a game of will. LSU the lower seed in this game, the five seed against Penn State the four seed, which means LSU will be the visiting team. In Baton Rouge, Paul Boron for CST.